So in this problem, we're asked to find a second degree polynomial p, such that p of 2 is equal to 12, p prime of 2 is equal to 15, p double prime of 2 equals 10. So in order to solve this problem, what we're going to want to use is the quadratic equation, which tells us that y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So what we want to do first is find the first and second derivative of this formula. So let's go ahead and do that. So y prime is equal to, uh, so let's calculate the derivative. So ax squared, if we want to find the derivative of a constant, or ax squared, we just move the 2 down and subtract 1. So this is going to become 2ax and then 2 minus 1 is 1. So 2ax, let me actually erase this, 2ax to the 1, I'm not going to write it, plus the derivative of b times x. So if you have a constant multiplied by a variable to the 1, it's just going to be the constant, the derivative of it. So it's just going to be plus b. And the derivative of c, derivative of constant 0, I could write plus 0, but don't need to. And then so now let's find the second derivative. So the second derivative is equal to, uh, so let's do the derivative of this first, so 2ax. So we have a constant, which is 2a, in front of x, so it's just going to be 2a, the derivative. And then the derivative of b is just 0, so we don't need to write that. So what we know is that double prime, or p double prime of 2 is equal to 10. So let's set 10 equal to 2a. And that's going to give us a. If we divide both sides by 2, we're going to get that a is equal to 5. So I'm going to write all my variables up here. So we need to find a, we need to find b, we need to find c to come into the equation for our answer. We know that a equals 5. So now let's find b. And we can find b by plugging a and x into this formula. So y prime, which is 15, because uh, this is what it equals. So 15 is equal to 2 times a. a is 5 times x, and our x is 2, plus b. So 15 is equal to 2 times 5, which is 10, times 2 is 20, plus b. If we minus 20 from both sides, we're going to get that b is equal to minus 5. So let's write that up here, b equals minus 5. So now that we've got b and a, we got to solve for c, and we're going to use that using this formula. So y, and our y is 12 for the first one. So 12 equal to a, which is 5, times x, which is 2. Then we're squaring that, plus b, which is minus 5, times x, which is 2 plus c. So 12 is equal to 2 squared times 5, so 2 squared is 4, times 5 is 20. Minus 5 times 2 is minus 10, plus c. 12 equals, and then we're going to combine like terms, so 20 minus 10 is 10, plus c. So we minus 10 from both sides, we're going to get that c equals 2. Now we've got everything, and we just got to plug it in. So we're going to plug it into this formula right here. So p of x equals ax squared, so a is 5, so 5x squared, plus bx, so b is minus 5, so minus 5x, and then c, so c is 2. So this is going to be the answer to this question.